hello guys so today we're going to show you one way um to prepare lambi cock as you can see we have no lemon no salt no seasoning because we're going to just wash it clean wash and boil okay follow us right here So right here, you can choose to remove the skin or just cook it with it. But if you want, if you, you can choose to remove this skin right here. So it's easy to, to remove, you can remove it like that, you peel it, but I'm not gonna remove it. So I don't even have to pick it up because I want it like that, we want it like this. And then, so also those part right here, you try your best to cut as much as you can to leave that very plain and white. So me, I'm going to cook that with the skin because we liked it that way. Your choice. And you, you only remove it if um, you're having a formal dinner. So since it's just two, just the two of us, so we decided to keep it. Um, but it's up to you. You can always remove it. Okay, guys. So right now we're going to prepare the meat in a way when it cook we don't want it to be too chewy or hard so we don't have the proper um tool to use for that but we're going to use this to tender the meat okay My husband is getting wet, guys. Yeah, guys, like this <laughs> thing is throwing water at me. <laughs> it's sitting right here. I must smell like the sea. Look. So tender. All right, guys. So we're trying a new method because I'm sick and tired <laughs> of getting squirted by this thing right there, right now. So uh, we we're, we're, we just put it in a plastic, like a Ziploc bag, mm -hmm. and... We're gonna try to see if, if it could re reduce some of the, uh, the uh, 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 some of the splash. Yes, thank you for the lack of better terms. Ooh. Yeah, so this is much better. If you don't want your house to be smell like fish and you can't even figure out where the smell is coming from, use this method. Put a Ziploc bag, use a Ziploc bag and put these things in there and smash it. That's it. And then also, it won't be too hard if you have the proper tool, tool yeah. okay so like i said before guys so we don't have it yet so we have to improvise so hey okay. okay okay so now we're cutting our lambi yeah guys after we done smashing the living juice out of it all right guys now so we're washing the cock Wash it very well. How many times would you say they need to wash it? A good three times. Three, three times, three or four times. So do you wash it with cold water or warm water? Cold water. Cold water. No hot water. Okay. You don't want to mess it up. It will be an expensive mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Get that. Why there's no a little bit of garlic, mother, some oil. 
It doesn't have to be um I live oh no, okay, really. Now we add water. It's okay. No worries. Put a good amount of water in this. Hi guys. So right now, so our lambi, our cup is um cooked. Okay. So I leave it in the um, we left, it, we left it on the stove for what? How long? Like um, two, two hours. hours. Um, but you can do one hour and a half, depends on you. But I like when it's like when you eat it, it's like melting in melted your mouth. In your mouth. Mm -hmm. So that's why I leave it for two hours so it can be well, well cooked. So right now it's ready to prep it, okay? To put your spice and your seasoning and, your season and stuff like that, okay? So you put some lemon juice. Some old bay seasoning, of course, because it's seafood. Some Maggie. This is half. Nice. This is half of a Maggie. Some Haitian Ippies. Or what we call wet spice. Another type of Ippie that was with basil and parsley and olive oil. And this is like Dash original seasoning. This will have no salt, basically, that much chemical. So don't put too much salt in there because it's a sweet meat. You don't want it. it it's easy to to be to, to come out salty. Yeah, yeah. So just be careful with the amount you put in there. Okay, so now we're gonna add some oil. So the oil I put in there right now, that's gonna be the oil for my gravy also. And I couldn't add anything else. Oh yeah, scotch bonnet, tomato sauce, tomato paste. But again, this is how we make ours. We just take the tomatoes and blend it because we don't use tomato paste. But if you have tomato paste or any other type of tomato, thing and you can just add it in there <laughs> tomato thing guys that's it tomato thing there you go i just, I just created a word so okay a word. so right now i'm just gonna cover and then let uh, that spice soak in there and then boil for a good 20 minutes because the your your meat is already done but the spice have to cook especially application spice in there so you have to cook like for about 20 minutes okay <laughs> 